Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. So as you can see from the title of my thumbnail, today I'm going to share with you my new Hermes Calvi dual card holder. It is a new design and I picked this up just about two to three days ago at my local Hermes shop. So here is the front and the side, the back of the card holder. And I'm just going to open it up so you can see what it looks like on the inside. And you can see from here, there is a card slot on one side here and it says there Hermes made in France. And then on the other side, there is another card slot right here. And there is also a coins case within the Calvi holder. So you can see this button goes on here, but this button is to open it up. So if you have any loose chains, coins, or any other valuable items you want to put in here, you can know that it's secured with this button. So this color is in the rose confetti color in the Epsom leather. I believe it is the seasonal color for this spring summer. And in general, I find that this does fit quite a few cards. I tried putting cards on this side and it fit approximately 12 cards. And surprisingly, if I wanted to fit them in there, it would also fit in there. And this spot also fits credit cards and you can fit about 12 of them also if you really wanted to. Obviously, I don't like overstuffing my SLGs because there is a lot of bulge and really these are not made to be overstuffed. So what I've done is I've placed approximately 8 cards here and I've also put another 8 cards inside this button pocket so that you can see what it looks like. It does shut like so. However, you can see that the side of it is a bit bulgy both here and here. So it's something to keep in mind that although this one does fit more, it does become a bit more bulky and if you're looking for something relatively flat, if you do fill this up, you can see it will bulge. Now what I've done is I've taken out the cards and I'm just going to put some coins on this side and shut that. And you'll see the profile is slightly slimmer and I think this is probably a much better way to use this Calvi card holder because the bulge is not as big. And finally something to note is that if you flip your card holder this way, the cards will fall out. However, because there is a coins case here, depending on how many cards you have, it does kind of stop them from sliding out. However, it's just something you need to be aware of if you are using this card holder. So some of you may own the original Calvi card holder and I have one here in a pink color again. And I believe this is in a chef leather. Don't quote me on that. However, I do believe this does look like a chef leather. If you know what this is, do let me know in the comments down below. However, just for the sake of comparison, I just wanted to show you how they looked side by side. So if I put one on top of the other here, you can see that lengthwise they are approximately the same and according to the website they are both 7 by 10 and a half centimeters. However, you can see that the duo one is slightly taller. It's about half a centimeter taller and if you look at the side profile, actually this one is also about a half a centimeter wider just because there is an extra coins holder here on the inside compared to the original Calvi which is just two card slots. And if I use the same cards that I used in the dual card holder and I put them in this Calvi Bjorn, the profile is definitely slimmer in my opinion. 
However, with this, again, it doesn't have the coins holder. However, if you have any coins or other small items that you do need a button pocket for, as some of you know, I do have the Bastia, which would comfortably carry all those coins and other small items. And you'll see that the profile of this is actually quite slim. However, if you do want a kind of two-in-one, you could use this. However, the profile would definitely be thicker. So it's kind of like choosing between having two like this or just having the one. However, like I said, if you do really stuff this pocket, it does get quite bulgy and I don't recommend that you overstuff this particular dual card case. So what are my thoughts between the two card holders? Obviously I had to get this just because pink is my favorite color if you can't tell by my t-shirt. I am wearing a Balenciaga t-shirt. However, as I am a huge pink fan and hence I definitely had to get this color because rose confetti is so gorgeous. I just had to pick this up because I just absolutely love this color. So if you ask me which style I prefer, if I was going for a very slim profile, I wanted something very slim, I would go for this because this is definitely flatter. And also because I think this is a chevre letter, I feel it's not as stiff and there's more give if you want to put more cards in this and if I needed to use extra coins or small items I would pair it up with a Bastia holder which also has a pretty slim profile provided you don't put too many coins in it. However, if you don't carry too many cards in cash and you want to have a place to put your coins or small miscellaneous items like a key then this would be a better option just because it's the two in one and you can put cards, cash, and your coins in here, but do bear in mind the profile of this would definitely get bulgier and thicker. So even though this does carry slightly more, I would say that it does get a bit puffy. So if you don't mind that and you prefer to have everything in one, this is really good for that. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you haven't done so already, and if you're really interested on luxury handbags or other fashion items, please feel free to like and subscribe. I wish you a fabulous day and I hope to see you next time. Have a great week and see you next time. Bye bye now!